So I hope everybody's doing okay. What I want to talk about today is correlation. Look, essentially correlation is the strength of how one variable is related to another variable. This is what correlation essentially tells you. How strong is a relationship between two variables? And one of the nicest ways to actually do this in Excel is to simply use a Corel formula. So we could go ahead and use the Corel formula and we specify array of our data. So I have this data. I'll click the first cell, hold the shift key, choose the last cell, click the last cell. And then this is my first array and I could place a comma and then specify my second array. Ch ch click the or check the first cell, hold the shift key, check or click the last cell and that gives me my second array, close the brackets, hit enter, and that gives me a correlation value. Now correlation value is between minus one to plus one, where minus one tells me how negatively correlated the data is, and plus one tells me how strongly or positively correlated the data is. So it is between minus one to one, but the magnitude or how negative it is or how positive it is tells me how strongly positive or negatively correlated the data is. But what does that really mean? Let's have a look at this. So uh, a nice way to do that is to visualize this data and see how it looks like on a plot. So I'm going to select this and go ahead and go to insert and choose a scatter plot. So right away this gives me uh, the data points. and I can see a trend in this data that as x-axis or the age increases, we could see the distance decreasing. So x is the age of uh, certain participants in a study and the distance is the distance they run without needing a break. So as you see age increasing, people uh, tend to run less number of meters without having to take a break. So the data checks out, makes sense, it is uh, sane and logical and that is fine. Uh, but let us uh, do one more thing. Let us go ahead and, uh, and, and in fact, uh, draw a trend line. I could do an add chart element. I'm in chart design. And I could add a trend line and let me enter a linear trend line. Let me, let me fix the axis just a bit. Uh, I'll set a minimum value to maybe 15 on this axis. And let me double click this axis and set the minimum value in this as around 600 just just so that it looks uh, it looks okay in terms of how the axes are set up okay yeah so so I can I can right away tell that there's a line of best fit for these uh, five data points and this line of best fit is kind of uh, signifying the trend in this data and it's kind of uh, decreasing you see as age increases the distance that these participants can cover uh, decreases so this signifies a negative uh, correlation which turns out to be minus uh, 0 0.944 so while we can see a negative correlation this is also visualized in the graph with a negative gradient so this is just one example we could have another example such as this where a data set looks like this and this is temporal data but the relationship that we are interested in is between x and y so again we could go ahead and uh, create a scatter plot and see how this uh, looks like and in fact if we see that for increasing values of x we see the y also uh, tends to increase so this then signifies and I'm going to go ahead and add a trend line a linear trend line and then this signifies a positive correlation because the gradient is in fact positive both variables behave in the same way, in the same direction, increase in one variable, increase the other variable. And I could in fact verify this relationship using a Corel formula one more time. I specify my first array. Notice my first array now is horizontal because this is the data direction that I am keen on. The previous example, it was vertical. And my second array now for the Y is this row of data right so this is the horizontal uh, data so my correlation turns out to be uh, 0.95 notice this is positive correlation and in the previous example we had a negative correlation it boils down to how data behaves do the two variables 
behave in the same direction they go in the same direction and increasing one variable increases the other or decreases the other that is what defines whether correlation is positive or negative but now what I want to do is look at a, a complex example we have so far dealt with only two variables and find out found out their correlations but let us now head over to another kind of data now look this data set is is extensive in the sense that it has a bunch of variables so look at from row 2 all the way to row 12 so we have a whole lot of variables now and we have temporal data we have data corresponding to different years so we might be interested in understanding if production and this is for some crop if production of some crop is correlated with the area in which it is cultivated or anything other than this so we might be interested in finding correlation of one variable with another variable and for and this could be true for all of these variables what that really means is we could have a whole lot of combinations of correlations that we might be interested in and so that means by using the Corel formula it might be quite intensive to put in these rows of data again and again and again so in such situations what we really do is we make a correlation matrix a correlation matrix will tell us correlations between all of these variables and to do that we head over to in the data uh, ribbon right here we head over to the data analysis um, option on top right now for some people this might not be visible uh, for example for example and, and this is a Mac uh, uh, and a Mac operating system but if you head over to a uh, let's just say Windows operating system uh, let me reconnect and uh, show one moment Okay, we're gonna uh, go ahead and try and reconnect it one more time. See if we can access a Windows operating system. Okay, we've actually lost contact with our Windows operating system, but never mind. Uh, we will check check this back uh, at a later point in time but um, the point here was to basically see if we do not, if we have this tab available to us often this tab is not available to us um, especially when you're doing it for the very first time so you might want to go to tools if you're using a Mac go to Excel add-ins and check the analysis tool pack this needs to be checked if it's not checked then you might not see these options see it's gone so to see this option you need to go to excel add tools excel add-ins and click this uh, tool pack so once you do that you should be able to see the data analysis uh, tab you go to data analysis and we are interested in correlation right so you click correlation okay so it's, uh, it asks us for an input range and by clicking this button what we can do is we could specify input range of data okay so for us the input range of data is from here on all the way till here now I'm holding shift key now to click this last uh, cell so it's it has in fact selected all of these cells I've skipped the temporal uh, years on top intentionally held the variables and the data only and then I'll click this uh, button one more time and that fills in my range and this is grouped by columns or rows no my data is grouped by rows because look for each variable I have a row of data so I've got this data in rows and I'm going to have my and I, and I, I want to check this option too because my labels are in fact in my first column so I have labels these the names of the variables they, they are labels and I will check them because in my first column they are and remember I checked my range included this first uh, column of labels that is why I'm checking this up and I will have the output in a new worksheet and that's fine um, and in fact let me let me have the output in the same worksheet um, and let me specify where I want the output I want I want the output here from this cell onwards okay 
and I'll click OK. And what that does is it gives me a whole bunch of uh, numbers now. And these are correlations. Now notice these correlations are between variables. So correlation between production and production is going to be one because it's the same variable, right? The data is going to be the same. But the way to read it is, is to choose one column here, production, and then now see you have correlation of production with all of these variables. So pro correlation uh, of production with area in acres is 0.97, highly correlated. And then, for example, export quantity in thousands of USDs is very, uh, it's, it's not correlated, it's pretty much close to zero, right? So, um, so this is how you could, and in fact, notice this is negatively correlated. This is perhaps yield is negatively correlated with export quantity. So you've got these, this correlation between variables and you can interpret them accordingly. What I would want to do is then select all of this data and I would want to be in home and choose conditional formatting, color scales, and choose a color scheme. You could choose whatever you like, but I like to choose this because green is uh, the highest and then red is the lowest. So if I choose this, it color codes my data, and I might want to turn on the borders. So it color codes my data, and it tells me right away which ones to look at um, with more interest. So the green ones here are highly correlated, strongly positively correlated, the red ones are negatively correlated. Strongly or weakly depends on the strength of the negative number. But then this color coding allows me to see right away which variables are strongly or weakly, positively or negatively correlated right away. So this is one way to look at the correlation uh, between multiple variables. Let's have a quick look one more time if we have access to, okay, so we do have access to our Excel uh, Windows version of Excel. Okay, so so in the Windows version of Excel, notice you might not have the data tab. So what you might want to do is go to File, and then in File you might want to go to Options, top in the left, and then there is Add-ins, and in Add-ins, notice Analysis Tool Pack is already here checked in. Its type is Excel Add-in. Manage Excel Add-ins. You should have this option set up Excel Add-ins, and just hit Go and this menu will pop up and in this menu you want to choose analysis tool pack select it and you want to click ok when you do this you will see in data tabs the data analysis will show up and now you can calculate correlation like we did just as in our example in mac okay so this is the way to enable this plugin in windows version of excel all right um, if you have any comments feel free to throw them in the comments section. I hope this uh, serves as a good uh, example to set up correlations. Thank you.